Hello, welcome back. Last time, a bunch of random rooms happened, and I learned something new about Briars that I did not know before. That was kind of weird. Alright, um, so yeah, just gonna continue walking in whatever direction strikes my fancy. Wraithwing, Hot Tile, or Mites. That wall's gonna be hard to break. This is the room I've landed in, so let's do this. Omplik wants to light fuses. Let me guess, I'm gonna prevent that, since it looks very easy to do. Got it. Powder keg is how I break this. I need to retrieve this without it blowing up. That releases the omplik, of course, so I need to slide it down without its beam contacting any of these, probably. And I'm guessing it goes there? Huh. Interesting. So I think I see what I need to do. Let's see if I can work this. Um... Okay, well that's in immediately a problem. Let's do that then, and I guess... Then what? <laughs> okay, so I guess actually this. So then I can make you turn. Then what? Let's make you move south, so that you can face diagonally and not like that. Turn around this way. I want to face this way and have the opportunity to block your beam. You're gonna come with me just like that. Perfect. Okay. And then to avoid that, I think I can do this. I sure can. Cool. Okay. Oblic friend is being cooperative. Uh, now, how do I... Can I do this? Yes. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, that's uh, open, so your job is done. Thanks. All right, blow this up. Get Wraithwing and, what, just kill it? Probably. I think the room's done, right? Okay, great. That was neat. Uh, so, more broken walls and Wraithwings. Some of these are going to be aggressive. More powder kegs, hot tiles. Okay, so a theme is emerging. This whole kind of is reminding me of Random Obsessive just a bit. As said before, feels like a boy blue hold. I guess disoriented style is kind of similar to his. Do I need any of these alive for anything? Hi, Mimic. I just noticed you. Why would I not kill all Wraithwings? I don't see a reason yet, so I'm going to kill all Wraithwings. What's this mechanism for? Somebody's got to step there. Mimic can't. Oh, hang on. There's a blockage here. No one who can step there seems to exist. Oh, hold on. No, this is open to me. So why would I step there? I can get everywhere. Can't I? Huh? Hang on, is the problem that I... No, I can get everywhere. Why do I care about any of this? I don't get it. I'm just gonna step all over everything. Not care that I've stepped all over everything. And it just doesn't matter, does it? I have safe passage to the exit. I can break all the walls and kill all the monsters and leave the room, right? What's the issue here? Oh, hey, I found it. It's this. Okay, well, I mean, I can sacrifice the Mimic over there, probably. That seems like a thing that should be possible. So just Mimic stabs this, that Wraithling can die. That Mimic is isolated, oh. So if nothing toggles those, if the Mimic is completely isolated... Okay, so this is a Powder Keg passage. I need to be able to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to bring at least two of these kegs up to the north. That's why all this exists. Okay. That's the puzzle. I just didn't... I, this was the, the one barrier I couldn't see, because there are a lot of completely irrelevant barriers everywhere here. Mimic, you activate that, so just avoid that happening, I guess? I want that to be stepped, okay? Easy. Uh, does that also toggle this? Yes. Okay, so I need to pre-place... 
powder kegs here, I guess. Again, I don't need all three of them, but I guess I'll go ahead and get all three of them because it's easy to. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Let me leave that one there. Step on this. Put that there. And then do my business. So, um... Yeah, that's all fine. Seems to me... that I'm, I'm just not sure... What, what does this do again? Yes, that is something I care about. So Mimic, please don't. So having done that... Well, that seems like a problem. How do I get here? There's another keg there for some reason. So I really only need to get one of these over. But wait a second. Okay, right. So pushability. I don't have a pushing tool. If I push a keg through here, then I can't get it off that wall. So this exists for some reason. What did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only need one of these, technically. But I can't get in there without those blowing up. Oh, yes I can. Okay, this is how I do that. Okay, so those are toggled by both. Okay, that's simple enough. So all I have to do for that to happen is... Um... Is... Wait, what's wrong here? You need to be one to the... This direction. This. There we go. Okay, so no fire traps. Kegs are mine. Okay, there we go. I solved my problems. And again, pretty sure I only need to bring one of these over if I take that other remote keg. Uh, are you gonna kill me? You are. Wraithwings are this weird monster that I'm just, like, not used to getting killed by. They don't kill me very... It's... it's they're so often non-threatening that it's a surprise when one actually decides to bite me. I guess Roach Queens are kind of like that, though it's even rarer that you could ever actually get killed by one. It is possible, but it is extremely rare. Now, I haven't thought about pushability for these. Um, oh, yeah, so that's why that's important. Of course, I can't push any of these, so I actually do need all of the, those, of course. <laughs> if I'd stopped to think about that, that would have been obvious enough. That configuration's fine. Just gotta retrieve a few of these. Okay. Level geometry is friendly enough toward that. Uh, I don't need that extra push. It can stay right there. Those three wraithlings are not in anybody's way. I'll deal with them later. Why am I trying to micro-optimize? There's no reason to do it. I just... I see movement inefficiencies and I want to correct them. Because that's just the sort of person I am. There we go. Okay. Access to you, and you're dead. How nice. For me, not for you. Okay. So that was basically like one small puzzle buried in a bunch of non-puzzles. That was my impression of that room. A door toggled. Mm-hmm. So target nonsense. Okay. There's a ch possibly challenge scroll here. Okay, with a seating beacon. So, um, the general way this mechanism works is that these tar stuff mothers have nothing under them, therefore there is no tar stuff in the room, and uh, tar stuff gates are one way around. When they grow, tar stuff will start existing in the room and they'll toggle to the other way around. If you destroy one, then tar stuff stops existing and it toggles again. There is an invisibility potion, which I would like. Does that propagate to clones? Yes. So clones maintain invisibility. Interestingly though, temporal projections each keep their own visibility state. 
I don't believe I've seen that actually used in a puzzle, and I also don't believe I would have wanted to. So you have to be in here. You're just going to be standing there and unable to do much of anything. Also, you have a problem, which can be solved by your friends up here, I believe. Uh, not when they're invisible, but maybe this other guy can help. This other guy right here. So no tar growth happens. Um, there we go, I solved your problem. Yeah, so just allow one type of tar growth at a time, right? So, ooh, can I? Oh, no, this won't work. I can't keep it off of one of the things, but not on the other one. All right, so you need to move that roach. You can eliminate some tar stuff. So this is basically just like a demonstration of this concept. There might be still uh, an actual puzzly puzzle in here. Um, Actually, did I already miss one movement through the doors? No, I'm fine. Just be sure to always let that roach move. Okay. Done. Neat. What's the challenge? Saw the room toggling the black gate eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight? Okay. Eight. That feels impossible. What could possibly allow that to happen? Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to take my victory and, um, leave, because I can use the seating beacon later. Let me at least exit the room to get that recorded, because I can reseed this if I really want to try the challenge. So, let's just think about this a bit. Eight times. Who's going to be my key to that? Like, I have six obvious toggles. Like what I was saying about having only one half of the Tar Mother grow, or Mother Gel Mother, doesn't really work because the eyes are directly next to each other, and growth outward from one, even if only one is visible at a time, will still cover, or do the, the underneath equivalent of cover, um, cover the floor under the other one. And then that becomes an impenetrable, stable tar stuff tile, one by one, that can't be removed without killing the tar stuff mother on it. Show me the initial room state just in case I've like missed something. I wouldn't not take the potion. Are the roaches involved? Maybe. Very maybe. Okay, that's an idea. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Uh, here, let me just, just make a make a checkpoint in a neutral space in another room. This is not a neutral space. That's gonna release all the guards. Okay. Find checkpoint in neutral space. This one will do. Okay. Um, no, it won't. That's in this room. Checkpoint, other room. There we go. That checkpoint I'll restore to if I want to abort this. That's fine. Yes, I see you. Uh, I will use you as my... No, I won't. I need to be close to the invisibility potion. Do I? Yeah. So, become invisible. So here's my idea. Ah! Uh, here's my idea. Roaches swarm around... I need more roaches. Uh... There, I have more roaches. All roaches come with me. All roaches come with me. And with enough here, or just the right turn order. So I think this will allow me to get an extra 
possibly pair of toggles with the gel mother because um, because this will prevent okay well this will be an interesting little test of a mechanic uh, what will that prevent exactly I think this is the key uh, can I do it to the others Probably the Tar Mother. Yeah, I think this will give me seven toggles, and I need to do the same thing to Tar to get to eight. That's my impression. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So with those, hey, with those positioned there, that'll let me do the one half thing. And the only reason I can't get nine toggles is because I can't get to the within invisibility range of those to position them the same way on the Mud Mother. Alright, I think that's what I'm looking at. So you do that. You do some of this. And go ahead and just... I uh, can't deal with mud yet. Gonna have to do gel first, I think. Alright, let's see this in action. I can probably just... Uh, oh. So what's gonna happen here? I probably want this... Yeah, it works. Okay, there we go. Gel under here, not under here. Okay. Yeah, it couldn't grow there because... This is a weird rule set. <laughs> That's not the reason it couldn't grow there, but it is true. This is a weird rule set. So I stab you. I stand here. Let that happen. Whoa, hold on. Uh, here, go back one more. Wait there, because I forgot to, although that's less essential in this configuration. Oops, I okay, so you need to you need to do that. Okay, you need to do that again. And now it's your turn. Wait for 29, do this. Okay. Hey wait, you Oh. Right, of course it's only the Gel Mother that can do that. Okay, so Tar Mothers expand all tar in the entire room if they um, are processed. Gel Mothers are the unique one in that they don't expand stuff, so I can just do this. Did I just, like, skip doing anything with the toggles? Is this why... Yeah? Thoroughgoing toggling. <laughs> That's a lot of T's and G's. <laughs> okay. I just forgot to move the roach at, at one point. That's why it seemed like I had only just enough. But I had extras. Neat! Alright. Wait, what the... Those have daggers. I was gonna say they're scripted because they turned really fast, but no, they just they have daggers. That's why they can sit there with their weapon on a bomb, even if they're not very happy about it. It won't actually blow it up. <laughs> well, this is a weird little toy. I have not interacted with a dagger guard very often. Feels to me like it's not going to be the most threatening enemy. This looks like a weird sort of... Hmm. I'll worry about that later. Uh, no, I'm going to worry about it now. What's down here? Okay. What do you have to say? Kill everyone before toggling the orb. Okay. Why bomb? They're probably going to hit it by accident. No? I don't get it. What's with the fuse? Why, why the bomb? That just seems like it doesn't do anything. Also, this is like a weirdly discontinuous pressure plate. I guess I can let some out, but not all of them. Ah, but then they do that. Okay, so I would be well advised to do this if I want to kill everyone. Okay, so how do you deal with a dagger guard? Here's a way. That's gonna let some more out, but that's probably okay. Oh, they're weird. They're really weird. I don't know how to... what the... This is a very strange monster.
so yeah, I have no intuition about how to fight this. This should be safe. Uh, I think it only was because of turn order. Let's see, if I move there, you technically have an open move to step here and stab me. But since that guy moved first, he blocked you, so that was only safe because of move order. Uh, again, because of move order, this should be safe. Because you had an open move to stab me, but you didn't because that guy moved there. However, I'm probably dead no matter what I do in the next move here. False. However, I have no good options. Uh, unless if I squish you against a wall, I'm still dead. Okay. How odd. So lots of this sort of thing. This feels bad. Uh, this situation seems to be not in my favor. Yeah, this is a completely different enemy from a regular guard, basically. It does not follow the same dynamics. Ah. I don't like it. That was the fewest I could have gotten. Unless, like, move order means I get fewer in this sort of facing. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, I don't... I have no intuition about which moves are safe. Just kind of feeling my way through this. This should be okay, but then I'm very dead, right? So there's nothing I could do about that. Ugh. Okay, I want to stop being flanked. Can that can that end somehow? How about if I like run for some shelter? here. Can this turn into something good? Nope. Nope. Right. What can? I mean, that's why this is a challenge, right? Well, but why would... Why would this ma- Oh, I think I get it. So you spend just enough time on here. To use the orb, get off the pressure plate, and save nothing. No, I don't get it. Because, like, the implication is it's somehow to your benefit to do this. But if I if I spend as much time on this pressure plate as it takes to hit the orb, they're just going to step on it again, and this bomb will do nothing. Hey, there's a mirror. Oh. Okay. That could turn into an important observation. Can't really interact with the fuse without it already being lit. Um, so the mirror allows me some... A different amount of distance on that. Was that meaningful? Eh, I don't know. How would I tell? I mean, see how this plays out. That's how you tell, I guess. Ugh. Maybe orthogonal facing is better. I'm doing too much diagonal to be healthy. <sighs> no, that, that feels worse so far. Uh, I did that. Ugh. Okay, so now I can do this. And now you kill me no matter... Well, unless I go straight north. North is the only move that puts me not into danger of you, because my sword's too far away. Protecting myself with my sword becomes very important. Okay, so here's what I can do. I step here, step... No, wait. Let's see, how did I do? Stab that. Step there. No. What? How did I get into that situation I had before like this? Okay, so I'm getting distance from you by stepping this way. Uh, it's not happening anymore. 
Why did it happen then? Like, move order or something? I guess because you moved there, you were blocked or something? I don't know. Yeah, I don't like this enemy. Hmm. It's just going to be a bunch of messing around, figuring out how dagger guards work. <laughs> Why does it have to be a whole horde of them? I mean, can I use the mirror as shelter? They'll probably just shatter it, right? Yeah, eventually. What else can a mirror do? I mean, it can be shelter if they happen not to put their swords on it. Huh. Gonna change their pathing just a little bit in a way that could end up being relevant, but this is just a big, horrible, chaotic mess. I guess what I need is strategy. I don't currently have that. I don't know what to do. That the this mirror in the way I'm using it just does nothing of any worth. I don't get what I'm supposed to do with it. Like, I'm back to just trying to deal with this horde. Which, honestly, I don't know is impossible. It might be fine. So if the mirror hadn't been there... Who knows? Okay. So I feel like I got lucky, but also that I'm in danger of having more guards come for me. So I can't do... I could do that because of move order, but now I'm dead? But I could do that somehow. I don't know why. It was weird. This is fine. Ugh. Ah! This feels familiar. I've been in this situation before. Probably doesn't end well for me. If I keep doing that, nothing good happens. Somehow I was safe because... because it was. This'll be safe. This'll be safe. This won't. Oh, but it was because move order. What a mess. <sighs> okay, so I'm just in an unwinnable situation now, right? Let's try all the moves. That one doesn't kill me, but it doesn't move me any closer to a better situ- Okay, so that one somehow worked. Except it didn't, because now I'm just dead no matter what. So how was it? South, and then... There, and then I'm dead. South, and then anything else, and I'm dead. Except for that. Continuing to the south doesn't help me. Okay, so it's... I only have five. Okay, so what put me in that situation? This? This is different. Be squished against a room edge. There we go. There we go. Something good happened. Okay. All the checkpoints are on the pressure plate. Are you serious? This is super rude. I don't approve of this checkpoint placement. Give me one in neutral space somewhere. That mirror didn't help me at all. I just managed the horde and somehow won. I gained a little bit of intuition for this, I guess. This looks bad. This looks better. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. So I want to avoid that situation for sure. Okay. My fingers are learning how to fight these. My 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 mind doesn't really know, but my fingers are getting it, so I'll be happy with that, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't explain what I'm doing in any way. I can only actually do it. Okay. I did it. I don't know what the non-challenge solution was supposed to be. Again, the unnecessary way. What was... what... how do you... show me. Demos, please. Teach me something. How was I supposed to use that bomb without, like, somebody standing on this plate and letting everybody out? What's the fast way? That's the challenge solution. So that's what I did. That's the fast way. Um... Who would probably have the non-challenge solution here? Wait a second, somebody pointed out. If you click on this, the player completed a challenge. Okay, so if I, if I look at these, it tells me, well, I have to download them first. But looking at this, this tells me this is the non-challenge solution because the player completed a challenge is not part of the, what? Oh, the discontinuous pressure plate. That's what I missed. You can double toggle. How silly. <laughs> okay, that's clever. I'm kind of sad that I missed, missed out on that now, because I like that as a mechanic. Instead, I got a super messy janky horde room. All right. Well, that's, that's real cool. <laughs> like, this would almost be a, a room that would be appropriate to have two challenge scrolls in, one for each solution. Um, but maybe I'm the only player who didn't realize the non-challenge solution. No, that's, it's just, it's two very different um, ways of thinking. I did it one hard way, the other way is a different hard way. Okay, cool. All right, well, that's what happened today. Uh, I learned how a guard with a dagger feels. Not great, but, I mean, <laughs> it happened. That was four rooms. Which one took all my time? I guess challenges took all my time is what happened. Okay, all right, uh, I'll see you next time to keep wandering around and doing stuff.